<laughs> it's just I, I gotta fucking I gotta get ready for the gathering, and then I gotta do video of me and the, the fucking doing the poop box. There's and PJ, then, we're, we're gonna what? <laughs> what? What? We're, we're gonna ask you some questions now. You're gonna we're gonna you're gonna what? You're gonna ask me? We're gonna ask you some questions now. Since okay. you've been talking a lot, now it's our turn to talk. <laughs> All right, Chad. Okay. I'll do whatever you say, Chad the banana. Yes. All right. First question was, when did you first get into ICP? Oh, uh, I believe, I believe I was 12 years old. Uh, I was pretty in 1997 so when Malenko was out. Everyone fucking, Malenko was everybody like, knew what that, even if you yeah, hated him, you yeah, knew what that fucking knew. album was. Everybody but uh, I, I also remember seeing on ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. That's right. I remember seeing, um, which you had to stay up real late back then to, um, like it was like three in the morning on some sports channel. They play an hour of uh, hardcore TV and um, not not the porn TV. That was Cinemax. You had to like Skin watch it with the back thing. You, you could see it, but you couldn't hear it. It was the, like blurry. Not, not, that's a different question. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and they did. Uh, I believe it was the uh, they they were playing the music video how many times, which mm. featured wrestlers in it, like Greg the Hammer Valentine, <laughs> and then I saw them getting their ass kicked by RVD. In ECW, RVD. and then uh, me and uh, my homie Rest in Power, crazy, you know, we uh, instantly thought they were cool. And this guy named Chris Kometz, if you're watching, thanks. He uh, made us cassette tapes. There are these little things that are called. You put them in cassette players. I know you kids do not know what that is, but that's what we did back then. And he gave us a copy of Malenko. And fuck, I had I had to have more. I had to have more Riddle Box, assuming, which is my favorite album by them. Yeah. Riddle Box, by the way. And uh, oh. yeah, that's it. That's how it got started. Well, that's it. And I painted up one day, walked around town with my homie Crazy Chris. <laughs> he was Shaggy, I was Jay. People gave us candy. It was awesome. Hmm. We killed a few people too. <laughs> that's I knew not, it. That's not true. I knew it. That's what all. Sorry, <laughs> FBI. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> well, that actually comes into the next question was uh, what song and album did it all start for you? Well, I guess how many times? Yeah. Great Malenko. Yeah. But really, Riddlebox really grabbed me, is what it really grabbed a whole, it grabbed the head, it really tugged on me really tugged hard. On. Yeah, that Riddlebox. Yeah. Riddlebox. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, and Terror Wheel, too. Terror Wheel, yeah. That was a Fuck good yeah. one. What made you want to be a con- start as a content for social media? Uh, Well, back in the day, if you went to high school with me, I used to have the camcorder, the ones you had to hold like this. The big ass ones. With the- yeah, they weren't like real big, but you know, they weren't like <laughs> real small like they are now. Like I have this GoPro that's like that small and um, you can fit it in your ass, you know. Uh, but I used to do a thing called the pretzel show and I was just around a bunch of random with my home. I keep mentioning crazy and it makes mm-hmm. me kind of breaks, you know, I miss, miss that guy yeah, and, and, and Perv and uh, Lee and Jim Ball, you dead homie, and Gerd, and my and Danielle, we fucking yeah, we used to uh, go around filming a bunch of stupid shit. So really, it started before social media was even a thing. Mm-hmm. And then I, you know, got into the group, you know, No Clue Crew. If you guys know about that, with Gertie and Saney and the Havoc of the No Clue and all that, and that, you know, did a little filming then. And a few years back, you know, my kid said, "Dad, you should do TikTok. You'd funny. You should do stuff." <laughs> I'm like, eh, whatever. And I was going through some tough times back then. And I needed an outlet. So I started getting on YouTube and I started filming me talking about shit and scat and and, and, and dirty band-aids and stuff like that. Doing the toys. So it's just it was a it was a it was a it was, a, it was an outlet for me. Right. And I enjoy doing it. Cool. I have fun. I have fun with it. Don't you have fun well, with I it? I have fun with it. Fuck yeah, it's I fun. fun it's, it's 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 harmless and it's fun. It's enjoyable. And plus what I really want out of this is I just want to rule the world one day and be in complete control of everything. <laughs> <laughs>